Hi everyone, welcome back to Barbie's Way with Babe and Caprice. Oh, okay, I thought Babe was Caprice. You be make you be making me do this. So we're gonna talk about our Jamaica trip that we had December second to December seventh. Yeah. And then we had one day in Atlanta. That was eighth. So we're gonna have the list of the do's, the don'ts, the what's to expect, the the craziness. It's probably gonna be a two part video because I feel like it might be too long if we do it all in one video. But that COVID test one was kind of long too. So. That was ten minutes. I think we're gonna. You knock always, that you always fucking shit up. Okay, <laughs> so I wrote a list of all my stuff. All right, this is new for me. So, okay, first, like, did you have a good time? Would you go back? I had a great time, and we're going back next year, next December. Why next December? That's they said it's the best time to go in December. But why not the twenty-two or something? Why next year? I feel like we can do a yearly thing. That's something we can talk about later. See. Yeah. So this was during COVID lockup. This is uh bef we actually went days before they announced the second lockup, December sixth to January fourth next year. And so Caprice is down here doing the most. Um first thing was <laughs> Google everything, the lockup requirements. Each place is different. We are from California, United States. And we had to have a COVID test. We had to go to Travel Jamaica. So Google Travel Jamaica. There's a website. You have to get authorized to be entered in there. Um, Caprice. Their requirements. So you have to go through this. So the Travel Jamaica wants you to make an account and get authorized within five days of visiting there. The COVID test should be done within 10 days before your travel date. <laughs> and so uh do that i suggest that you scan your passport and print that two to three times everything else should be copied and scanned whatever two or three times as well and place the different areas of your luggage just in case you lose it like you said mm -hmm. what what part of this did you do i was a part of all of that by doing that too and but but what did you do i was just saying mm -hmm, like oh you got that part you got that part too dang i appreciate everything that you did my travel agent <laughs> Oh, Lord. Congrats to the travel agents out there that's doing the work. Because the groups. <laughs> this ain't easy, especially during COVID. Okay. Um, so make sure you have anything that you signed, anything that says accepted, you've been approved. Print it, please. You will thank me later. Print it all. Even blow it up and print it like uh, the end of the approval from Travel Jamaica. Blow that bottom part up and print that because they want to see a signature from that. So, print everything twice, look up requirements, test results. We went to Rite Aid. There's a video before this that we did. Sorry, y'all took so long to do this other, but we was on vacation. Um, Rite Aid is a good way. Rite Aid is good on their two to three days response. I don't know about the second round of COVID because it's a lot of deaths and a whole lot more cases going on, but they're when they say they're timing, they're timing that believe their timing. So that was good. This one's for you. Try to pack light. How many? <laughs> so how, how, for a man for five days, how many outfits do you suggest you should have? For Jamaica, you only need a pair of shorts for each day. A pair of shorts you don't want to get wet, and a pair of shorts you want to get wet. I overpacked. I admit it. Okay. But some of your stuff was packed in my stuff, too. And you didn't you use the stuff those? that you packed in my stuff. So you made my bag heavier for no reason. It was cover-ups. So that was like not even a pound. It was a lot of cover-ups. But yeah, pack light. All you need is... I, I had three pair of flip-flops. Did you pair. need that many? Yeah, to change up for the shorts. <laughs> I like to coordinate. I'm sorry. This is, this is a sneaker. I like to coordinate. I'm sorry. <laughs> It has to it has to coordinate. He can't deal without getting dressed. I don't understand. Anyways, I had just enough. Like I think I might be might have might be might have not wore like three of my dresses and the cover ups didn't need them at all because I feel like Jamaica is a very po body positive area and so you're not like 
I, like in the States, like, oh, let me cover up. It was like, nah, show that jelly, show that belly, okay? Because you don't have one of those. I got both jelly and belly. I can see. But it's, nobody worries about your size. Like, legit Jamaicans love, now, I'm not going to say fat. I'm going to say big women because they, they enjoy that, like, for real, for real. So don't go out there worried about who's going to see what and all the dimples in your booty in the golf course. Wear it, okay? Proudly. <laughs> Wear it proudly. Um, however, they say to get to the airport three hours before your flight for, especially international, because you never know what customs, checking in, bags, blah, 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 three hours. And I suggest that anybody who's traveling internationally has a credit card that has the lounges access. So Amex is a good one. I have an Amex Platinum, which got us in, but I pay for the Delta Sky Club because... Amex Platinum doesn't cover my guest, so I have to pay $40 extra for them for two people. And then we did the lounge coming back, which was all the way free, and that's from Priority Pass. So I'm going to put the links for, hopefully I remember, the links for Amex and the Chase card Sapphire Reserved. And that's so, free alcohol and food. Make sure it's free alcohol. A whole bunch of free alcohol. They did not have a limit. Mm -hmm. They'll wait till you pass out to kick you the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I mean, let me try to bring <laughs> But, um. They didn't kick us out either. We had a no, lot of alcohol. A lot of alcohol. We even, like, snuck some out of there into our own, like, water, reusable water container and still didn't drink it. So, um, we tried to make it worth $40. Um, things to do before you get to Jamaica uh, download WhatsApp. They use WhatsApp so much. So much. What you think you should do before you get there? Outside of that. Outside of before you get there, you know, WhatsApp. I don't know. You did. He was like did everything for it. So I didn't know how important WhatsApp is in different countries. In the U.S., we we don't really need it, but outside of the U.S., WhatsApp is the go-to. Mm -hmm. They everybody uses it out there. Everybody they use that the hotel, out. correct? Yes. Yeah. Every every staff member had WhatsApp, and I can whoever I was in contact with was through WhatsApp. So have that. Um, ooh, the big one I was mad about when I got, well, they tried to negotiate with me on the room because they wanted, you know, during COVID, they're only, what, 20% capacity, if that. Mm -hmm. And so the lady's emailing me, which was really nice. Uh, I'll tell y'all the hotel in a second. But she did contact me, like, a week before. We contacted each other back and forth. She was really good at communicating and Wanted to meet, be, wanted for me to upgrade my room where it had, we already had a two bedroom suite or whatever hotel. Yeah. And they were like, oh, do you want to upgrade to the ocean view? And I don't care. Like, no, I can look at the wall for all I care. Like, I'm in Jamaica. I don't care where we stay at. But she tried to upgrade me. I was like, nah, I'm good. Cause she didn't want to go to the price that I wanted to go to. And so I left that alone until I got there. The manager there, uh, I think her name is Tadine or Tadine or something. She's an assistant manager, and she she met me at the door and was like, "Oh, you're in dread, blah, blah, blah. I was like, "Oh, do you want to upgrade still?" And I was like, "Well, I already talked to Tamika. Her name is Tamika uh, about upgrading. We didn't come to a negotiation." And so uh, she was like, "Okay, well, what do you want to pay?" And I was like, "Well, I offered to pay three hundred more on top of what I already paid." And she was like, "Well, can you meet at four fifty? And I was like, looked at them, and they was like, we don't care. So I was like, nah. So I was like, what can you do? I said 300 again. And she was like, okay, we can do 300. I got the room that I wanted with the ocean view, which was dope. That made them crazy every morning. It was like a dream every morning waking up, like looking out there, opening a curtain, and nothing but ocean and beach and blue water. So it was worth it. It was worth it. The, the, the extra upgrade is worth it, but the, the price, the for sure. Don't stand on your ground. Please. So, we got nine minutes. <laughs> Let me stop checking the time. <laughs> um, negotiate that. You can probably negotiate the tours, too. Yeah. But yeah. we never talked to the tour per people at the resort. Yeah, yeah we outsourced. Um, I'm pretty sure you can negotiate that, too, though. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, that's why the spa people kept calling and they had a special at the spot. We're not going to talk about that, yeah. but I'm probably sure I could have been like, this is all I got. What's up? <laughs> but um, she was a tour guide before getting to Jamaica as well. We I've seen this person recommended through many travel groups on Facebook. 
And so I was like, hey, let me hit him up. He kept saying, <laughs> I'm not gonna give his name, but I think they're, they're, they like to like, not lie, but tell a story to get you to be like, hey, prices are gonna go up if you don't book now, if you don't book this. And, and I was like, I'm not worried about that. God gonna, God gonna let me have what I need to have when I get there. So I'm not about to be brushed or pushed into anything. And so we waited till we got, uh, wait, two days before I contacted him and I was like, hey, I think we ready. And he was like, oh, okay, you know, this is last minute, you know, we kind of need the money now. And I was like, oh, how do you take the money? He was like, what do you say, cash app? And me, uh-uh, cash app, they don't give you. Demo. It was cash app. Oh. Cash app or PayPal. PayPal. And okay. then I was like, I ain't doing cash app because they don't give you your money back if it was a scam or something. Cause you know, this person across the world, uh, Facebook is, you know, it still could be a scammer. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> so anyways, um, got our tour guy. I paid, I paid him through PayPal. I trusted him with my money. And I was like, hey, if I lose his money, then that's going to be it. But come to find out, he's really legit, really nice. The tour was great. So choose your tour guide before you get there and give some space um, before you land. Because they do actually do get booked. But during COVID, it is a little more open and, you know, they have more dates available versus mm -hmm. if it wasn't COVID. So the food. We start with the food. We got KFC, jerk, rice and peas. So how do you rate the food? Oh, man. Outside the resort. Oh, outside the resort. Outside the resort. Uh, I tried oxtails for the first time. Oxtails were okay. But we stopped at a, like a hole in the wall. I guess that's what you call it. Like a as a jerk a jerk chicken shack, and we had a bar too, and the same person who cooked as, as the bartender, but the best chicken, not even just jerk chicken, but the best chicken and the rice what was that rice and peas, mm -hmm. amazing, uh, amazing. I cleared my plate. She had what you have I jerk, jerk pork. And didn't was... share any with me. So I don't know how the jerk pork was, so I can't give my review on that. But the jerk chicken it was, was really good. Really good. You trying to lose time? What did you trying to lose pork? That I said twenty twenty one. Okay, well it's, it's, I still got time. The fat was good. If anybody's a fat lover of steak and pork that seasoned well, it was amazing. And watch it. And then uh, what do you say? Oh, we have uh, rum and teens. Rum and teens. Jay's like he was like uh, I never seen people eat jerk chicken and wash it down with rum and teens. So we were yeah. drinking. We alcoholics. Yeah, we were drinking. I don't think I had no water. <laughs> we barely had water. No, at the oh, hotel. Yeah, yeah, no blow many water bottles. Yeah. Um, the KFC. Now, we're going to save the, the beginning for the end of this video of that transaction. But the food at KFC. Okay. The food at KFC was amazing. Mm -hmm. The original flavor was just like the regular KFC at home. That we have in the states, but the spicy and the barbecue. <laughs> they have supreme chicken in Jamaica. Like, I don't know where they're raising these. Or... They're the, they the they in the a healthy, they're they in a healthy environment. It's <laughs> something healthy about them. That's a different kind of chicken. The meat was like extra meaty paws. Uh, yeah. It was juicy. It was crispy. It was hot. It had flavor. It just was. Did you get any other sides? What sides we get? The sides was basic. Yeah. That, Same as regular KFC. Yeah, but so the chicken. I wish I could have got a zinger or something, or but we couldn't look at the menu for another reason. We'll tell you later. But. <laughs> Remind me yeah. in this video. <laughs> um, rice. Oh, okay. The right. I meant to say the rice and peas. They put coconut milk. Oh, yeah. in the rice and peas. So for. Any regular American, we don't know this, but I'm sure the Cubans and the Latinas, I'm sorry to say Cuban, but just like the cultural people that do recipes anyway, they put coconut milk in their shape. Thank you. Do some more of that. Yeah, that should become a African American thing. Too. <laughs> so the whole, the resort we chose to go with was Jewel Grande, um, spelled how I said it. And we only picked that one because we only had two options of a two bedroom we my best friend had to come with us and didn't want her alone so that was my only option Jewel grande and the other one i can't remember the other one right now but Jewel grande had more restaurants and more pools and more like a view for me and so i was like okay let me go with Jewel. i think that one yeah um the two bedroom at Jewel grande comes with a butler 
and during COVID, it's not really a butler. I don't know. It's an assistant. It's more like, uh, yeah, uh, assistant on call, uh, room service kind of thing. On call room service. Through WhatsApp. Exactly. I, I think I touched the phone because they kept calling me. But other than that, I wasn't calling nobody. Um, I know. Uh, she be, oh, okay. They were looking for <laughs> Uh, they, the, they tried, they said they, they want to stay out the room as much as possible due to COVID. And so stay out of people's faces and, you know, vice versa. And so my butler was really an on-call assistant. And I always, I got, got to experience the butler outside of COVID. Cause I think they do have in, in sweet, um, like cooking and like, oh, like yeah, little cool. stuff. And so, which would have had that, um, my butler, my favorite, I had two. Mm -hmm. It was like switching back and forth from, uh, on and off work. It was Calvin and Cade. Yeah, Cade was really good. Cade Forbes. Y'all, rec I recommend Cade Forbes. If y'all go to Drew Grande, get Cade. Cade was the best. He made sure to come pick me up and drop me off, even though it was like a, Two, three minute walk. Mm -hmm. Oh, them stairs though. Them stairs up and down, them buildings, and nothing to play with. I'm sure the little cellulite on the back of my thighs is cleared now. <laughs> I'm pretty positive. So, that was dope. Hey, salt water. Salty. <laughs> super, super salty. You for sure gonna swallow some salt water. It's inevitable, and it's it's salty, like you said. I can't even explain. Like, there's maybe like one ounce of water and like hella salt. Two <laughs> tablespoons of salt. Like it's salty. That the shower could definitely t tell the difference in the shower quality or the water quality in the shower that they had. My body was coming out lightweight, moisturized. Like ashy, but still smooth. No, legit, because I don't know what was going on with that water. Yeah, there really was, need I, felt, I felt soft as hell. Yeah, it wasn't like dry skin. Like. But then compared to what you did out here. Yeah, the shower back home, it was like, I felt like I was like in a box. Like, she was crazy. They said it was stiff. The yeah. water out here makes your skin stiff. In Jamaica, you felt like you just came out of a spa. It was weird. I mean... It ain't just like, oh my God, hella dramatic. But if you like recognize how your skin feels, it's completely different. Yeah, you definitely notice the difference. Um, the sand on the beach. First of all, what they were doing was collecting the, what was that? That, like, that one, so the like, reef? Yeah. Not the reef. The seaweed. That was not seaweed either, though. It was seaweed, I think. Like, it's like a... a not a seaweed, like, like seaweed that you eat. No. Yeah. But definitely like some type of seaweed. Mm -hmm that was pushing up on the shore that they collected and they buried it under the sand. Yeah. So I think what they do with any of the rocks as well, they bury it in the sand. So the sand was like rocky, like. It was like clayed up, but not in the hard, like a super hard way. But it felt like hella broken shells was in the sand. Yeah. Very granulated, but you could still tell there was a bunch of shells in the sand. White beach though, the sand was white. Definitely. It was really nice. God damn it. Um, oh, the friends you found in the water. Oh, yeah. I should have brought them home. So I've never been in any ocean water before. So I felt something on my feet. So I picked it up. I asked what it was. It was a sea urchin. Before I could throw him, he got my finger right there. A little war the baby wound. sea urchin scratched him up good. I don't know what the damn sea urchin is. It was really cute, though. It was like a size of what? Like a... Like a, I guess like a golf ball. Like a golf ball with spice on it though. I shouldn't have picked it up. And he was like, "Ooh, what is this?" And I was like, "Put it down." When, when you go tell him about Frank? Yeah. Oh, okay. Frank, getting, okay, Frank in here. Frank. Oh, okay. If I could add the video of Frank in here, that'd be hilarious. I think I could try. Yeah. Pause for this video, <laughs> <laughs> just in case I can. Okay, back here. All right. So, Frank is the the red. Crab we found on the uh up the stairs. He was a good size. He wasn't a good size to where you could eat it. I don't think that was acceptable at that at his age. But he was he was old enough. I don't know that was considered a red crab. Well he was red. Frank was blacker than me. 
No, Frank had a dark maroon on his top of his head, but he had red. Maybe they all hit his eye drunk. He looked black to me. He was like a white. You dude. forgot who Frank was the whole time. Yeah, if I had a video, I wouldn't even still know who Frank was. Anyways, we messed with Frank. I tried to get Frank a drink, and he he did some shit, and I got scared. And I ran away. So that, that was, was like the second crab too. Huh? We seen another crab at Pelican Bar. Yeah, we seen a whole bunch of baby crabs, but Frank was the biggest, and he definitely uh, was not having it. So. Seen Frank in uh, the ocean, not the ocean, well, I guess it's the ocean. The beach it had different fish in the, um, like, kind of close to us. Well, not in the like, in the near yeah, beach yeah. area, but right on along the rocks was, like, yeah, a lot along of the fish. Uh, what was that, like, that clear, like, like eel thing you see? It looked like an eel, but I saw, like, a swordfish. I'm a, I'm a not a big swordfish. I'm Maybe, like, a eel. baby one. I don't know, but it was really interesting. <laughs> um... The food at the hotel. The first day, I think that we had one restaurant for two, three days, Italian. And they Italian, was it's mediocre, let's call it. It is what it is. But they chicken Alfredo, of course he tore it up and my best friend tore it up. Fire, it, it was fire. And then you had the steak. That, this, all the steaks was on fire, but. That, one, that first one was salty from the Italian place. She was like, it's salty. Yeah. But well, it was still like a good, it was a good size portion and the quality of meat was still good. Awesome. Okay, had that. And then after two days of having that, okay. Okay, let's talk about the breakfast because the breakfast was the same throughout the whole time. Let's not talk about the breakfast. <laughs> breakfast was trash. And um, I think what I did like about it is that I got to try the aki and sawfish and sauteed aki yeah. which is like a vegan uh egg dish which is pretty good replacement if i was vegan i would totally for sure pick aki uh salted aki and whatever that it was y'all ordered oatmeal which they thought was the, going to be the they best. described it on the menu as homemade oatmeal like it's homemade with the butter and all that you will be fired no. That's no going to be fire. It, it was, was like, porridge. <laughs> like the Three Little Bears porridge. And Laura Wright Hood. Is that the one who was in Three Little Bears? Whoever the girl was in that I show. Think right I don't think it was her either. But <laughs> Goldilocks. That's who it was. One of the white girls. <laughs> she wouldn't have ate that. She would have left that house. That oh porridge wasn't God. it. The pastry platter wasn't it either. Uh, just, just the fruit breakfast. platter was nasty too. Just get breakfast. That's, get a yeah. mimosa. Mimosas, yes. They get either come in paper cups or glasses. It depends on how they feel. That's, exactly. That's like, Very that's inconsistent, comes. but they they delivered. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that. Um, the best. Okay, after that, the Italian. I think the the weekend. I think the weekend is the best time to travel over there because everything is pretty much open. They're trying to like make everybody happy over the weekend. Maybe that's what the most traffic anyway. But everything was open. The steakhouse, the um, hibachi. I end up surprising him with a private dinner for his birthday that was in a gazebo. That dinner, um, they give you four menus to choose from and you can mix and match. So I definitely made our own menu out of all four of those. And um, it was really good. Like the, 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 the service was great. Yeah, the service for the uh, private dinner was amazing. The hibachi was really good too. Just talk about one thing I've done. Oh, I'll just our private dinner. Okay, the private dinner was like what four course? Like, yeah, I think oh four yeah four courses. I feel like four courses. They're all good. Uh, well, what kind of wine was that? That was uh, a red car cabernet. Uh, cabernet. That was really good too. I think we finished the whole bottle of that, and they brought us shots while we were there. Uh, yeah, that was really good. That steak was really good. The mashed potatoes was like, uh, it had some asparagus, like chopped asparagus on it. Like, it took one asparagus and like sliced it in half, intertwined yeah. in there somehow. It made it look fancy. It was good, though. It was good. The service was really good. The music they played, it was covers of the song. It wasn't the actual song. Um, the light of balloons. It was for the sun. They timed it for the sunset, so it was really good. Yeah. And they picked you up from your hotel and drive you over there. Well, I be that became normal after that. Like, I don't know what. Yeah, well, I, perked him I up think, after that. I don't know. I, I think you said that, that, that they preferred you to get a ride over there instead of walking. 
I don't know. But the pick up and drop off became became normal after our private dinner for some odd reason. I don't know. But anyways, and then uh, we had the 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 Caribbean Grill that's by the pool with uh, the the bar pool. Best restaurant there. It's in the it's by the dance floor too, it's like the bar dance floor. Anyways, mm -hmm. there's a mix of stuff in that area. Yeah, they're playing trivia and, games over there. Yeah, in the pool. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the the tamarind wings, the mango wings that was fire, the esco. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Escoviche fish or escovich. I don't know. Um, that fish tastes like they was like literally catching it, ran into the kitchen, gutting it, frying it, and bringing it to you. Like it was fire. It was really good. That was good. Uh, your burger, we had. Uh, At the, uh, the uh, barbecue burger, the first time from there, and it was fire. It was barbecue. They had the same barbecue sauce as they put on the wings, <clears throat> along with the uh, milk, like mushrooms, chopped mushrooms they had on it too. And I usually don't eat those, and it was fire. Okay. I think I forgot to add that this hotel is all inclusive, so we didn't pay for anything. I think. One food item you have to pay for is lobster tails, and it's like $35 to $55, which is it's kind of slow pricing to me because who knows what ounces are you getting. Maybe you could ask, but I wasn't about to pay that much for no yeah. lobster tail. And so... Uh, the Red Bull was $5, too. The Red Bull. If you want a Red Bull, $5. But if... Everything else is... They gave it to us for free. I don't know why. Uh, after I... I mean, I had many complaints because of uh, a number of things. Let's Miscommunications, we could say. No, not even miscommunications. Let's cut cut that out. <laughs> we'll go to the end of the uh, video about my problems, the good things right now. <laughs> um, hibachi. Hibachi is a regular hibachi. They call it tamp, tapan, or tap, tapan. I don't know. But in, the, in, the, in the States, we call it hibachi. And it's the traditional hibachi. You, everybody sit around a little... Um, hibachi grill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they cook. And I, that was the best hibachi experience ever. That was way better than Ever. I wanted it, it, in the United States. Like, I feel like United States, we, like, just do hibachi because it's the cool thing. But mm -hmm. out of the States, they really take their time and really, it, you know, get the crowd involved. And the experience is, is amazing. I would love to do that every day mm -hmm. if I could. But, um, I like how, like you can tell, like you said, in America is a little more, uh, food. Yeah, the there it was train, like, and, and there they like they had like different times because you have to make reservations. So, uh, when you at different times, but even though you wasn't the first group, they treated the first group, they treated the last group like the first group, like just the same energy, <laughs> the same good vibes, and the waiters coming by with your drinks and. Interacting with the chef was like all good the whole time. Even with the table next to us, it was just like we we're all one big table, even though it was two separate tables. The hibachi chefs are singing with each other. It was great. It was really they saw, the, the lady sung the whole time. The man joined in, though. He, he, sung, he, he did. did. I'm not saying he did, but I'm saying like legit. Yeah. They don't entertain the whole time. They'd be like doing little jokes mm -hmm. here and there, but she kept it lit. Like I'm surprised she wasn't drinking water on the side. Like she just kept going and mm -hmm. going. Just thinking of stuff on top of her head, and like they really they love our American music out there, which is dope. So a lot of the stuff that they sing in that we actually knew we sung along with them. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> anyways, um, let's talk about the thirsty lifeguards at Jewel Grande. Them boys need some water. <laughs> they, they need, need water. gallons of water. Y'all think the Americans are thirsty? You ain't seen nothing yet okay everything was not irie was it called irie <laughs> yeah irie no it's not Ari. <laughs> anyways i'm talking about oh you didn't even talk about that uh that dinner what that dinner we oh had. waves yeah go back waves was open sunday or monday one day out the out the week and monday. this this is i think it's due to more of a it's they cook, it's cooked to order. Mm -hmm. So they take their time with that. They are like really a one. So that that's that's a must. Like five courses there too. That's five courses, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was really worth it.